this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening! Let's check out the Angler's Tunnel here. I love I love keeping the sword and shield equipped, uh, particularly for this room, but just in general. I, I guess I'm just, you know, classic Zelda fan at heart. You know, I like having the sword and shield at all times. That and I love tanking. I, I don't know why. Maybe I'm a, a masochist, or is that the right word? Masochist? Someone who enjoys pain being inflicted on themselves. Eh. But I love tanking. I mean, like, in World of Warcraft, I'm a tank. In Final Fantasy XIII, I, I love the Sentinel job class. You know? And here we get the Stone Beak. All right. One thing I really like about this area is how the, the level design is amazing in this area. How, like, each path like, overlaps on another path or something like that. Like, here's an upper level that loops over the lower level. And here we get the map. But they, like, utilize space so well in this dungeon. I love that. I love most of the dungeons in this game, but this one in particular is real fun. Especially considering that, uh, we don't really have an ice area in this game. Oh, well. Kind of funny, I do like, I love ice areas, but in Oracle of Seasons, you know, I, I don't know, for some reason, well, they don't really have much, of, well, I suppose they sort of do have an ice area. I got the sh snowshoe ring recently, and uh, that was pretty cool. Whoa, hey, don't, don't get into the water, viewers. Do not feed the animals at the zoo. Don't drive angry. Whoa. Yeah, can't hit the game. Can't hit the game. Nothing you can do about it. No. Uh, there we go. What are those guys called? P hats? Something like that? Eh, whatever. Well, maybe I should keep my uh, magic powder out for these guys. There we go. Ha! Gotcha. Well, that was easy. But yeah, might as well explore the dead end. Might as well explore the dead ends first. That's a general rule of thumb. Ha ha! Drown the guardian acorn! Woohoo! Victory for Link! Okay, let's get back to the entrance then. There we go. Ah, I found a trick to making it work. Someone suggested this in a video before, where if you uh, hold down A, B, select, then press start, that, that makes it pretty easy to hit them all at once. Because I was just trying to hit them all at once, and I was having trouble with it. But apparently I figured out, or well, I got advice that uh, helped me figure that out. Great idea, viewers. Glad I thought of it. And here we get the fight. well, maybe not the final item for the area, but the compass. We need the compass. Well, I suppose we don't, but... Kind of weird that they put compasses in these games... I mean, oh, I suppose it's a magic compass. You know, I'm not. I'm gonna stop there. I'm not gonna question the logic of Zelda's compasses. Ha! Well, that sort of worked. Uh, I'm gonna drown Link, aren't I? I mean, come on, I've got the Zora tunic on practically. Well, at least I'm not taking that much damage from it. Oh, uh, what I wouldn't give to have the Zora mask now. I love that mask and Majora's mask. That was amazing. And the uh, swimming minigame you had to do to get that piece of heart. Wow, that, that was a lot of fun. Once I figured out how the damn thing worked. That's... Uh-oh. That one's pretty far. I think I can make it, though. Let's uh wait to get this pea hat out of the way. Come on. Come on. No, don't land there. Don't land there. You're gonna land in the water? Fine. Ha ha! Got another one. Okay, let's see. If I do it like this... Nuts. I know I can make it. I know I can make it. I've done it before. Nuts. Uh, maybe if I try it down here... Ha! Made it. I knew I could do it. Yeah, there's a lot of jumps like that in this dungeon where if well, if you do it right, you can jump diagonally where the game doesn't expect you to be able to uh, to do that at this point. Ha! Some people were asking me, H.C. Bailey, why do you uh, keep your items in the same place all the time in your inventory? I'm just 
I'm very OCD like that. I've played too many Zelda games. Let's see, how many keys do I have? None! Crap. I have no crap in my inventory. Yep, can't make it through here. Oh! Game? Now I can't get that key. We'll be able to get it. Later. As soon as I get these turtles out of the way. Unfortunately, I can't jump on them and then kick them to the other side of the screen. It doesn't work that way, viewers. Ooh, another chest. That one's also a little tricky to get. Let's see what I can do with that. Hmm, I wonder what that means. We'll keep that in mind for later. Uh, let's see. Hmm, too much deep water around here. Wasn't there a movie called Deep Water? Or was that, uh, Deep Impact? Pirates of Dark Water? No, no. That was a pretty cool cartoon back in the day. Wasn't that what it was called? Pirates of Dark Water or Deep Water or something? They were after these 13 things. I forget what they were. Some mystical objects. But then they, like, canceled the cartoon, like, halfway through. They only got, like, eight of them, and then the show got canceled. Ha ha! I'm drowning Guardian Acorns. Wow, I love this dungeon even more than I already did before. You could probably get up to that uh, switch there, but... Uh, it's not really a high priority for me right now. By the way, if you haven't noticed, the uh, dungeon music for this area is the same as the ordinary cave music, that, except it's just got a piece of power inside of it. No, no, but it, the, the tune is just a different tempo, really. That's it. All right, there we go. Now, with, especially with the piece of power, but even without it, I could make that jump to get over there. But what you're supposed to do is go through that passage there. But, whoa. But there's a slime in my way. Nah. But, uh, yeah, that just wouldn't be a good idea. Well, I mean, you can. It doesn't really matter. But I'm not going to take advantage of that. Ha. Hmm. I wonder what all those tiles do. Hey, we get a small key here. Hmm. Nothing I can do with that. Hmm. Whoa. Hmm. Not much interesting in that room. Remember that room for later, though, viewers. Whoa. Hey, get out of my way, p -hats. Ha! There we go. Well, at least I can move faster now. I wish the red tunic would have made you move faster. If it did, I would have totally gone for that instead of the blue tunic. But, as it stands, you know, the red tunic is just way too powerful. So, whoa. Man, I'm almost going to lose my piece of power. Not on purpose. Ha ha. Stupid turtles. It's not like I got any scent seeds on me. Huh. Well, that key's not down there. But there's a mini boss here. Holy cow. Yeah, the easiest way to deal with this guy. Wait for him to come around. And use your whirling blade technique. Just a couple hit more hits like that. Whoa. You're not going to surprise me, dude. There we go. Hey, get down here. There we go. Well, let's see what that mini-boss was guarding. Whoa. No way I can make that in time. Unless... Now, we got this pull switch here. You start pulling it, and it pulls the blocks apart. So what I got to do is wait for that bubble thing to get out of the way. There we go. Hey, there we go. What's in this chest? The flippers! Now we can swim, and you can even dive underwater, too. So that's pretty nice. Uh, could you dive in the original Link to the Past? Nuts. I don't think you... I forget. It's been so long since I played Link to the Past. But, uh, I know you can in the remake, the, the Game Boy Advance remake. But I don't think you can't... I don't, I don't think you could in the original. Not that it really mattered, but... Eh, whatever. But anyway, remember the order in which the glint of that tile, well, appeared like that. Just remember that for later. Well, I'm trapped by the deep water. But now I got this... Well, now that I have the flippers, I can go through the dark... Or, the deep water. Yeah, now I'm gonna call it dark water because of the cartoon. Thanks. Who made that cartoon anyway? Was that Hanna-Barbera? They had some interesting cartoons back in the day. 
Ah, that's where that key went. Yeah, the one that I that dropped down that pit earlier, that's where it ended up. But you need to have the flippers in order to get it. But can Link find the next instrument of the sirens in this dungeon? Or will he be swimming with the fishes? Or dancing with the fishes? Find out next time on Let's Play Link's Awakening! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.